The fundamental premise of all conceptions of evolution is improvement, that is, things keep getting better, more efficient. This applies to natural evolution as conceived by Darwin, as well as the various kinds of social evolution, such as evolution in social organization, economics, and so on. Now, this premise of constant improvement implies that things are never good enough, things will never be good enough. There is a problem with such an implication. While some systems or elements can be improved, especially social systems and the creations of man, other systems do not readily render themselves to any kind of improvement, especially natural systems. How, for instance, would you improve the human body, or a rainforest, or the Earth's orbit? It is important to note that change does not always imply improvement, and, it can be difficult to determine what counts as improvement. Another challenge with the implication is that everything enveloped by evolution is conceived of as work in progress, a task that will carry on till infinity. The problem here is that the thing being worked on never ships, or is never really used as supposed to be, as it is constantly being worked on. Think of it like a house, when you are preoccupied with building and furnishing it, can you say that you are living in it? On the contrary, you actually look forward to the day you will make the final touch and now enter as a dweller to live in it. This day never comes in the case of Darwinism. You keep building, forever. Attention and focus is in a way concentrated at the wrong place, for forever. The task of constant work in progress is also futile, primarily because there is no idea of what the perfect product will look like. It's like going into the bush to hunt an animal that you have no idea of how it looks like. You come back with a hare, and realize that it's not it. You go back, come back with a gazelle, a deer, a monkey, a goose, etc., all the while deciding that it was not what you were looking for. That sounds like the curse of Sisyphus. But there is improvement, it's not a hamster's wheel, comes the claim. Indeed, some of the elements do improve. But definitely not all. Perhaps not most. I'll leave it in your discretion to decide which elements are meaningfully improved and which ones aren't, but riddle me this, how can one claim to be improving something, if there is no end to it? More precisely, how can one claim to be making progress in a journey that will never end? Maybe it's a hamster's wheel after all. To better illustrate this challenge with Darwinist evolution, perhaps it will be fitting to contrast it with another philosophy of improvement, Kaizen. Kaizen is the Japanese philosophy of continuous improvement in performance and productivity, Darwinism is the philosophy originated by the scientist Charles Darwin in an attempt to explain the nature of nature and reality by extension, as results of evolution. Kaizen is a cultural philosophy, Darwinism is an individual's formulation. Kaizen is only significant culturally, that is, where humans are involved. It does not extend beyond humans, for instance, into the natural world, Darwinism envelopes everything, from the natural world to human creations. Kaizen is sort of voluntary, a matter of choice or individual initiative, you can kaizen it, or not. Darwinism is conceived of as being an inherent and crucial characteristic of the system. It is inescapable. You do not choose, everything capitulates to evolution. And it never ends. Kaizen thus appears to be less aggressive and bearing, while Darwinism appears to be a master that rules all with an iron fist. The two philosophies are indeed very different, much as they all talk about improvement. The question I pose to us is, what does it mean for us, our society, and our individual lives when we are in the paradigm that things are never good enough?